so you always want to make sure you have a decent sleeping pad that doesn't have any holes in it. That might be a good thing to check before you take off, as well as a sleeping bag that you know is going to be adequate in the temperatures that you're going to be in, wherever you may go. Um, a lot of times sleeping bags are rated for uh, the inside temperature of a tent, so you want to make sure that you have an adequate tent as well. Um, if you're going to be in really cold temperatures, which you probably wouldn't be when you first start, but you just probably want to double check that just to make sure. I didn't realize that um, sleeping bags sleeping bag ratings were given based on temperatures inside the tent. Yeah, a lot of times what the companies do is they actually base the temperature rating on the fact that you will have an adequate sleeping pad and an adequate tent um, in consideration of the temperatures that you're going to be in. Uh, there are some companies that use a different rating standard for their sleeping bags that is a lot more accurate for an outside temperature, which really allows you to get a little bit more breathing room, so to speak, as far as if a temperature does happen to drop. So if a sleeping bag is rated to 40 degrees, um, does that generally mean I'll be comfortable in temperatures 40 degrees and above? Or would I still be okay in temperatures in the 30 degree range? Yeah, that's a really good question. So one thing that I would check is if the sleeping bag that you purchase has an EN rating standard. EN rating standard? EN? Yeah, EN rating standard. And that's uh, considered a European norm. That's what it stands for. European norm uh, standard sleeping bags are actually rated for outside temperatures. And they break it into three categories that really allow the temperature to drop further than what the sleeping bag is rated at. So you kind of have a little bit more of a buffer room um, just in case the temperature does drop. If the sleeping bag does not have an EN rating, it's possible that you may get a little cold if it does get pretty close to what the temperature or to what the sleeping bag is rated at. Okay. Mummy bags, which are basically sleeping bags that are very narrow and kind of the shape of a body, are much more efficient in the fact that they give you less room inside the sleeping bag and that's less air that your body has to generate heat to, to, uh, to heat up that additional okay. space.